Now, VTEC is a tortured acronym for Variable Valve Timing and Lift Electronic Control. Yeah, I kind of have to pick and choose your letters to get VTEC out of that, but Honda did and we're glad they did because VTEC came along before most companies had any kind of variable valve timing. They all do now, but when VTEC came along, super exotic. And with three big wins, it gave Honda's B-Series engine something around 100 horsepower per liter. That's a holy grail line in the business. It gave them bulletproof internals. These were not finicky engines. And delivering 30 MPG in the real world. All of a sudden, Camaros and Mustangs on the street were getting heat from Civics. To get inside VTEC, we took everyone's advice and dropped in at Black Tracks Performance in Silicon Valley, where co-founder Jay Chang loves and understands these motors. The feeling you get as a driver when VTEC kicks in. I mean, you literally go from a very normal, daily driving, commuting car to an animal at like 5,000 RPM. I would say at least 5% of Honda buyers have no clue what they just bought. We have purchased Honda S2000s from, let's say, a retired woman who liked to drive with the top down at the beach. Never a day hit 6,000 RPM VTEC. And then one of my guys takes the car for a test drive, puts her in the passenger seat, hits VTEC, and she starts screaming. What the hell is that? That's VTEC. Now before we get into the guts of VTEC, let's get into the guts of an automotive valve system to begin with. Quick refresher. You've got a camshaft, which is this shaft here that runs rotating with the crankshaft. It's part of the engine's rotating internals. On that camshaft are these eccentrically shaped lobes. You see how they're kind of pear-shaped? The high points of those lobes and the overall size of them tells you how long a valve's gonna open and how much it's gonna open. Because when that turns, it operates on this thing called a rocker. It's like a little fulcrum. And when it presses down as the lobey part comes around, that pushes the fulcrum to open the valve, which is this thing under the spring right here. That either lets fuel and air in to be combusted or exhaust out to get rid of it. This lobe is key because the size of it, as well as the peakiness of the pointy part, tells you how long the valve is going to be opened and, by that peakiness, how much it will open. Shaping that lobe is key to the way engines breathe. So what is unusual about this cam? Well, if you take a look here, this has got three cam lobes per cylinder on the intake side. And these two right here, we'll call them the primary cam lobe. Yeah. This is what the engine operates off of in the lower RPM cam. Up to about five. 5,000 RPM. Okay. Oil pressure then travels through this rocker arm and pushes a pin out. So that pin's gonna get pushed by that pin under high RPM pressure. Under high RPM oil pressure. All three will lock, and now the VTEC lobe will be pushing these guys down. So these outer guys on the valve used to operate independently on the low range lobe. Lock them, and they're slaved to the big lobe. To the big lobe, correct. Now we're in high RPM mode. Yes. And breathing good. Yes. To hear and see VTEC in operation, Jay put an admittedly heavily modified S2000 on their dyno. We're going to do a sweep or a wide open throttle pull from about 2,000 RPM to about 8,500 RPM. Currently, VTEC is set at 3,500 RPM, so we should see a switch over or hear a switch over uh, around that RPM. Button will erase weight, it's the fastest S2000. The guy in the car is Graham Downey. He erases that S2000 we just dynoed, and it seems to be doing pretty well. On the track, it's excellent because we get to take advantage of that VTEC and that VTEC cam. We're on the high cam almost all the time, but you know, we do cross over back into the low cam too. Yeah, it's 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 fun. BMW Valvetronic and Porsche Vario Cam are among the systems that have come along since VTEC to do about the same thing. But VTEC has a monopoly on low cost, efficient performance with a heritage and a mean. It's the only valve technology in the world that has a mean. Yeah. VTEC kicked in, yo. <laughs> no one says that about Valvetronic. 